Hey everybody, I'm Scott from Dragon, and I know that things are really weird right now and we're spending a lot of time at home. We've been trying to figure out how to make lemonade out of the lemons, and one of the things we've had a lot of fun doing is prototyping and playing around and trying to learn some new skills. So I thought I'd show you some of the tools that we're using a lot, and then I'd love to hear what you guys are using and what some of your favorite tools are during this time. So come on, check it out. We'll head to the shop. So one of the workhorses of our shop is the Glowforge. This is a really awesome laser cutter that can cut a variety of materials from acrylic, wood, cloth, paper, leather, all sorts of cool stuff. And it's fun that there's not a lot of work you need to do to get it up and running and it creates your parts quickly. So we've been making uh, with the kids some signs for the room. This is one of the earlier prototypes. Obviously, we had a little bit of a problem there, um, but that's one example. And then this one is from the Glowforge team themselves. Basically, it's a device to make it more comfortable to wear masks in the hospital if you've got to wear them for a long time by providing some adjustability. So we wanted to check that out. Uh, other things we have over here is a older version of one of the candy machines that we build for Halloween. Um, we we're just trying to understand how it all went together. So built a sample here. And then I see looking at the scrap pile, we've got some outlines of koalas that my son had built in an effort to support Australia when they were um, going through the terrible forest fires that they experienced last, last summer. So you can do all sorts of uh, cool stuff. Uh, one more machine that we tend to use a lot is the Mark Forge. And this is an insanely cool carbon fiber 3D printer. You can even add in solid strand carbon or fiberglass to make your parts super rigid. And what I love about it is you can actually print out parts that then you can use, they're functional. So uh, between the Glowforge and the Mark Forge, we're getting a, a lot of stuff done. Tell us what you're working on. What are your favorite machines? What do you recommend we add to our shop? And I hope everybody's doing well and staying healthy. Thank you.